boy here, man. It's just, we're checking on you. Just in the truck, man. Making sure you're all right. So what we're doing right now is a welfare check. Man. Just making sure you're good. You want to talk to us? We have to go to the Upper Valley and arrest Deputy Galden for lying on reports. That's what you need to do. Okay, like I said, we're just here to make sure you're in good health, man. We just saw you sitting here leaning over against your truck, making sure you're okay. So if you're not feeling sick or anything, we should be on our way, my brother. Just making sure you're good. Okay. good? You guys lie on reports. I can't speak for anybody but myself, man. I just want to check on you, make sure you're good. That's the reason we're here. So, I mean, you seem like you're in good health to me, man, so we're just going to be on our way. I don't trust the sheriff's office. Okay, do you have any other questions for Why does Deputy Galden still have a fucking badge? Uh, I can't speak for anybody else. You're dismissed. Oh, yeah, you know? my, my, my sister-in-law, like, well, my, my father-in-law, like, I got mad at him, so he was like, you know what, let me tell her to come help Yeah, me. yeah. I was like, I don't know why. You know, it's better because I've seen a lot of stuff where parents yeah. get frustrated and like, they do stupid yeah. things, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I just, just walk and away. And honestly, like, because I don't think you guys found the pen. Like, that's why I always have a pen. Just to calm down because yeah, yeah. I need, like, patience. Exactly. Patience, patience. No, I agree, yeah. Patience. But just don't have it with you, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. I know, and I never, honestly, I never, ever, ever really carried weed in my car. But last night, you just so afraid you car, forgot it there. So I had it in there, and I was like, shit, and I told this girl, oh, I have this. Shit. Yeah. And the smell is very distinct, you know? Yeah, very. It's all like, But I was like, no, but luckily, you know, does she qualify? We gotta take her in. No, we're gonna take her in. Oh, Can we, you take me in? We're gonna have to take you in. Really? Yeah. How many warrants do I have? I don't know, but... So do I call? I know we're gonna have to impound the vehicle. Really? Yeah. No. Are you serious? Yeah. No, I just got this car. We're just playing. Huh? We're just playing. Oh my god, you're <laughs> gonna make me cry. No, I'm sorry. No, for real, don't do that. <laughs> no, I'm bad. sorry. Like, <laughs> no, you qualify. Oh my god. You, you, you qualify. I hate cops. <laughs> I hate cops. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so don't have him with don't have we with you next time you know for what sure. I mean? for sure you have my word because it's uh, i mean we're not gonna do it you look like a like a good mom you look like you know you don't look like the kids are, are well dressed or whatever but we can easily call cps yeah. we're not yeah. but just you. just a lesson yeah, you know what i mean sure. but Thank don't you. do Thank that you. don't do that yeah for sure and um, i'm telling i never really like for that reason you yeah. know like same thing with have. alcohol right you know sometimes you have a beer with you when your kids are there or whatever as long as your kids are not there, well, you're getting, you know, hammered or, yeah, yeah, yeah. or DWI never, or whatever. Never. No, no, ever. Yeah. That's the thing, like, I don't, like, if I have my kids out, I'm yeah. like, just because. Where are you guys headed to right now? Thank you.
it's okay. It's okay if you're in court. Can you just step a little? Can you shut your we're, fucking mouth? We're trying to handle. I'm standing where I'm legally allowed okay. to be. Right now, shut up. You're not getting any further, okay? Now I'm standing where I'm legally clear. allowed okay. to be. Yes, sir. Shut up. Okay. Fuck so you. Don't get any closer, Fuck okay? you. Thank you. Fuck you. Thank you. Hey officer, am I being detained? If not, I'd like to leave. That's the question you need to ask. Never trust the El Paso County Sheriff's Office. Ever. Am I being detained? Am I being detained? Is there a law against free speech? Is there a law against free speech? Fuck you. I, you can't interfere with speech. How many times do you have to be fucking be told that? Texas Penal Code 38.15 Speech is not a violation of the law. Stupid motherfucker. Learn the law. Officer, am I being detained? I'm not talking to you, bitch. I'm talking to him. Officer, am I being detained? I have a quick question about uh, Texas Penal Code 38.02. Okay. Um, one of your deputies told me he was going to arrest me for failure at ID. Okay. If I didn't show ID. Uh huh. But he had no primary charge. Okay. And so I just want to know what the sheriff's policy is regarding that penal code because I hadn't committed a crime. He said he was going to arrest me for failure at ID if I didn't show my ID. All right. You know what? I can't comment on it because I don't know the particulars. You'll have to go down and file a complaint in Internal Affairs, and we'll certainly take your statement. And then we'll talk to the officer and find out exactly why uh, they stopped and asked you and made that comment. And we'll certainly uh, look at it and make an appropriate uh, decision on what, where we should go with it. Thank you, Sheriff. Yeah. Okay. And I just want to let you know that in other parts of this state, the same controversy keeps coming up with uh -huh. other Texas police departments. and. You know, I'm not looking for a fight. I'm not trying to, you know, attack police officers. Sure. I just want the law to be followed. Oh, absolutely. So yeah. do we. I yeah. mean, we expect our employees to follow the law. Right. And uh, and we can we can look at it, but we have to look at it as a whole. I mean, you're telling me one thing, and I'm not saying that I sh shouldn't believe you, but I really need to see both sides. And yes, find sir. Out exactly. I, I haven't started my open records request about the incident yet, so okay. I mean, I need to get them all the ducks in a row. Sure. But I figured since I saw you walking here, I'd just okay. bring it up. And, yeah. you know, I mean, I know this is unusual. I know you're a busy guy. Oh, but, no, no. It's yeah. okay. I don't have a problem with it at all. We, uh, we train our employees on the penal code, and, and we understand the specific issues related to that specific charge. Yeah. Uh, but, again, I, I, need, I need to know your side. I need to know the officer's side. And then we can make a decision whether or not the officer was within or, with, or outside of policy. Yes, sir. Okay. And, um... Since you are here, and I'm not going to take too much more of your time, but where do you suggest? Should I just go to the office on Montana, the headquarters? Yeah, that, that's the best place. But you can call also, and they can make arrangements to meet you somewhere if that's not convenient for you. Right. But if you can go there, uh, that's certainly uh, an option. It, uh, it's at 3850 Justice. Yes, I, I know. It, it, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you can do that, you can. Uh, that, that's the best option. But if uh, you're not able to do that, you can call, and they can meet you here or some other one of our substations so that they can sit down with you and get a statement from you. I Have you ever filed a, a complaint in I? No, I've okay. never had a problem with okay. the Sheriff's Department before. Okay. So this is my first time and that's why I brought that up. Okay. Yeah. Sure. But thank you for your time. Oh, no problem. Yeah. Not at all. You have a good day. You too. I'm trying to live within the bounds of the law, including the protections. Mm -hmm. Now in this state, you do not have to identify, like I said, unless there's yeah, a probable cause for a primary charge. For example, if you have a probable cause for DWI or, Person like I said, trespassing, way, burglary, yeah. anything, then, yes, Daniel, if I did not identify at that point, I would be in violation of a second charge, Texas Penal Code 3802, failure to identify. That is Texas Penal Code 3802. <laughs>
phonetic, thinking in it, draws out of motion. I get it. You feel strongly about what you're standing up for. I get it. Okay. Yeah, but I do, I mean, do you, you see my side of it too, right? Like well, I understand that, that this is That's where everything comes to, to, together, everything comes to a head. Law enforcement is trying to keep the public safe and work within the bounds of the law as you see them. They're even trying to keep you safe as well. Right. And then now someone like me, who's standing on technicalities of the law, you don't know what to do because you're like, well, we're just trying to protect this building from burglars. So I don't know what to say about that. All I know is the Texas legislature wrote the law the way they did, and I'm trying to live within it. Do you consider yourself a reasonable man? A reasonable man? Or a person? Normally I don't even answer police questions, but yeah, I do. Okay. Now, do you understand this, this is not a reasonable situation? Well, you gotta understand that if, if I don't make a stand, then this just keeps going on and on and on. Okay, I get, I get that. But do you, have you ever heard that saying, I guess pick your battles? Yes, and tonight I'm picking my battle. Because this is not the first time this has happened, uh, including with the Sheriff's Department, where yeah, I've been forced ID under duress when I should not have to. Like I said, unless you can develop probable cause for a primary charge, I do not have to ID in this state. That is the way it works. I'm dead certain. Sir. It's more of a possibility that we have to take you down to the gas to the station, impound your vehicle until we identify you, and then you don't even have to go through all that. Why would you even impound my vehicle? Because we can't leave it here. There's parking spots right here. Well, sir, it's closed. If, if something happens to your vehicle, who's liable? You know, I have a big answer for that, but I'm not even going to get into it. All I know is that when I recorded. Sergeant Grijalva of the EPPD get arrested for DWI, so they all pass the police nicely park her car at the Wells Fargo Bank. I guess that's Let's how it be, works for the blue line. Zero, 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 one. I wouldn't want to leave your vehicle here and then something happens to it. Well, okay, let me ask this. Can I speak to a supervisor? Okay. Please stand by. Zero, 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 one. Would you agree I'm trying to be reasonable with you, right? I don't think you're a bad police officer or a deputy. I don't, like I said, it's nothing personal. This is much bigger than me and you. I'm standing up not just for myself, but many other people around this. He wants to speak to, um, Sarge. Zero, 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 three, break. X-ray, one, two, four, four. So, 
there's a person. Do you feel like you always have police involvement in your life just by just not doing anything, you walking down the street or whatever the case may be? No, oftentimes the initial contact is just mm -hmm. So those situations... Do you still refuse to give your ID? Can I speak to the supervisor? Oh, he's coming. He's coming. I'm just figuring we have a conversation. That's all. You don't want to speak to me anymore? Uh, I mean, I'm just listening to what you have to say, but I'm trying to keep my cool. Oh, that's um, you've been you've been a case up to this point. Mr. Langry, why did you have to make it so so difficult? You want to provide your ID? You don't want to, you know, you don't want to. I, I don't. I, that's what I don't understand. Why, why do you have to make it so difficult? I'm just saying. And then, and then you know, put throw, you know, pushing a camera up in faces, and you know, it's whoa, like, whoa, whoa, I didn't put my camera you know, in your face. It's it's in front of me. You know, and that, that's and that's what I understand is is all, you, all, you came it was up a, to it me. Was a, it was as simple. It was as simple as. But provide your name. You know, okay. You don't want. You don't want to give me your ID. You want to give me your papers. Provide your name and ID and 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 uh, get a birth. That's it. That's the same thing. What's well, that? It's not just providing me your papers. You're providing me your name and date of birth. That's identifying information. I know that you think that I'm trying to be, you know, just a hard ass with you because of something personal. Oh, well, there's a supervisor. So you can speak with me, huh? Just after eight. Just after eight. How can I help you? You go down to the Clint substation and arrest your partner. Okay. Violation of Texas Penal Code 37.10. So you know, you know the proper procedure, sir, sir. So go ahead and handle it that well, way. Well, I need a Texas peace officer like you to go arrest the criminal. Okay. Have a good day, sir. I, I just asked you to do There's something. no active warrant, sir. I know because your sheriff is a fucking okay, well, that, then criminal. That, then that's who you need to go talk to, sir. What was your name again? Deputy Mumau. Go ahead, sir. Excuse me. Did you uh, refresh your training on Texas Penal Code 38.02? Yes, sir. Great. That's good. I'm glad I gave you the tools for success. So I guess while I go shopping in here, I have the brave Deputy Mumon to protect Walmart in case there's any more crazy Patrick Cruciuses coming into town. And he knows his Texas Penal Code 3802. After the uh, day wraps up, I need you to go arrest uh, Deputy Galden, who lied on the official report about my citation, where he said I didn't put my hands on the car like you ordered me to, which I did. He didn't even put the right race. He put me down as white. Do I look white to you? Have a good day, sir. I'm having a great day now that I found you. Okay, excellent. What's your policy for that body camera? Is it on? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. You know, before 2020, early 2020, I never even had a problem with the sheriff's office, ever. I never even had a problem with you guys. Then, one day, while I was recording a traffic stop, one of your people started getting nasty with me for no reason. So now I got a problem with you guys. Before that, I had nothing but good things to say about you. So you guys started all this. Before early 2020, my only problem was with the, uh, mainly with the El Paso City Police. 
But now I found out that there's a bunch of crooks in your uh, organization. So now I'm focused all about you guys. Golden? I don't even think that he was the main culprit. I think that one guy, the, uh, the acting supervisor, the one with the big arms, the whey protein bodybuilder looking guy, that's the fucking uh, the malicious one. He's the one who plots. That's the real culprit. I think Golden was just doing his bidding. But I'll find out more later. Anyway, deputy, just follow the law. That's all I ask. That's all we all uh, ask of you.